Can I ask you to hold that? Yeah, Abby, sure. just look at this. I pass this phone box every single day. It's on Maribone High Street. I don't know if you can hear me, there's a load of wind and there's also um, an extractor fan here by the hotel. But I love this uh, notice board on the telephone because it says gifts can take many forms. What's the most important gift that you've received so far? And then you are encouraged to take one of these and to stick it wherever you like on this phone box and I love, gosh, sorry, I got my glasses on. I just love reading what everybody has written. So, what is the most important gift you've received so far? And um, people have just written anything. Someone here has said a threesome. Uh, my education, the gift of life, consciousness and crispy pork belly, health, a great mother, amazing friends, my job, freedom, my friend Simone, and can't remember who those are, my babies, positive outlook on life, I just love it, and um, they change every day, people add to them, and they take them down. So um, if you come down here, if you're in London, why don't you leave your own little note? I haven't bought, um, I haven't bought a pen, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow. And do you know what I will say is the most important gift I've received so far? You, my subscribers. This is Koi Bird. I'm only taking you here, Koi Bird, see? And I'm only bringing you here because this shop is quite unique. It's in Maribone Lane. I've never ever been to a shop like it. What it does, it's a concept store and it takes you to a different country twice a year. And I bought clothes there from when it was in California and when it was in Korea. So, every time I wear those big bell-bottom trousers, um, you ask where I get them. I put a picture here. When I wear my big calico smock dress, I got it from here. And when I went on safari, my wonderful safari jacket was from here. This isn't sponsored. Um, they don't need me to flag them up. They are, this is quite unique, this store. It's, when they change countries, they close it, they completely redecorate it, and they take you to another country. So this country is Africa, Lagos is where we are at the moment, and I've asked permission that I can go in and film. So I'll just show you what they do. It is utterly brilliant. So here we go. So, the moment you enter, it's that everything is done in the theme of the country, that they are celebrating. So as I said, this is Africa, this is Lagos, and the moment you come in, I mean, it has a very identifiable smell. I love the smell in here, and I reckon some of that must come from the pharmacy, which is this bit, which we'll go on to later. But just have a look at this. So look at all this, the rattan. I mean, that's a hat with a face on it. It's just, you're gonna find pieces in here that you will never ever find anywhere else because somebody gathers the whole collection of these designers from all over the world and puts them in one shop. Now, hopefully Abby is here because Abby is herself, there she is, from Lagos. Hello Abby. Hi. Um, just explain to my viewers what is the thought behind Koi Bird? Okay, so Koi Bird is a seasonal concept boutique. Um, every season we have a new concept and based on our concept we have designers um, feature in store. 
we also closed the store um, for an Italian month. So um, today, as you mentioned, the concept is Lagos Fashion Week in Nigeria. So we have a lot of Nigerian designers as well as other African designers from um, West and South Africa. Um, on could, this, could, is that, sorry, Abby, because you are from Lagos. Yes, I'm from Lagos. Uh, Lagos, sorry. Yeah, um, okay. So, so you're familiar with these designers, and yeah. we may not be. So these yeah. are familiar to you. Yeah, they are familiar to me, um, especially within the African um, fashion community. It's it's growing a lot. It's becoming much more popular. And I often attend Lagos Fashion Week um, every year in October slash November. So a lot of the designers I'm familiar with. Um, I've also worked in a boutique in Lagos as well. So a lot of the designers here, we also stocked there as well. So it's really exciting. Can we just talk about what you're wearing? I guess, I mean, oh gosh, I, I just absolutely love that top. So is this all from Lagos? Is this from Koi Bird or is this your own personal collection? Okay, so this is from Koi Bird, but this isn't part of um, the African designers. So as well as African designers, we also have a few international designers whose concept fits, um, or whose collection fits the concept. So this is just one of it, um, by Kesnia. Um, but we also have loads of different designers as well. So I'll just show you our most popular ones. So at the front here, we have um, Lisa Folawio, oh. who's a Nigerian designer. And so she specialises in a lot of colours, prints, um, oh, and jewels. Just look at, I mean gosh, not only the uh, the colours and the fabrics, look at these puff sleeves, and look at the diamante that comes down here, with this and that silk. This is also part of her collection as well, so this is also really good. So is that the back or is that the front? This is the front. Oh my gosh, yeah. so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. As we're looking at these, can I just say everybody, you can find them all online, but if you do come to Maribyrn and you come to this um, Koi Bird shop, um, this is the end of this season, so you need to be quick. So go online or pop down here. Okay. Um, so another one we have here is um, Studio 189, which is um, a Ghanaian brand as well. So as you can see, they specialise in a lot of um, traditional tie-dye fabric and also this fabric as well, um, which in um, the Nigerian culture is called Asha Okay. Say that again. Asha Okay. <laughs> and, so, and what's that? Is that a, like a it's thick like pop? A, it's like a woven sort of fabric, um, similar to this one. woven um, this fabric which is sort of similar to this print. This is gorgeous. This is also by um, Nigerian designer Kenneth Isaac. I love, I mean, Abby, we seriously would never see these designers over here. I mean, yeah. maybe somewhere like Liberty, maybe Harvey Nicks, but never in a collection like this. Yeah. So it's really exciting that we get to introduce um, different international designers to the UK, designers that the ordinary consumer in the UK wouldn't necessarily be aware about. You will always get shoes and boots here um, that you'll never get anywhere else, but I have my eye on this. Just have a look at this. Can I ask you to hold that, yes. Abby? Just look at this. So that has to be um, a Nigerian designer. Uh, no, this one isn't a Nigerian designer. So, as I mentioned, that we do um, sometimes mix international designers with a concept um, whose collection fits it. So, this is one of the pieces who, well, we think the item fits our, our concept perfectly. How much is that one? Um, this, this is, one is so this is why I should never come in here. I should <laughs> never, ever. But I do tell you. This one's on sale, actually. It's on sale, oh my god. You know everybody, the items I buy here I wear again and again and again. My clothes are like friends, I look forward to wearing them. So, you know, okay, you probably spend more in a store like this, but it is something you really look forward to because you'll never see them anywhere else. So this is on sale for 160. So that's, that's quite good. That is really good. <laughs> Loads of you who don't live in London will go, Joe, that isn't good. I'm telling you, London prices, and for a designer bag, you will never see anywhere else. Exactly, yeah. new, a very new doormat. 
I am in Cavendish Square. I'm on my way to work, having done a little light shopping. And uh, yeah, lovely day all in all. Wow, what is that? really necessary in the heart of London. It must take up so many parking spaces. I'm getting old and I'm getting very opinionated. Getting, I've always been opinionated. The Langham is open. The Langham Hotel is finally open. The Porsches are back, the Mercedes are back, the doorman is back, the rich customers are back. Everything is all right in the world. Bill! Hi, Joe Good from BBC Radio London. You're on the vlog, Bill. I'm on the vlog. You're a lady in black today. I like it. Please tell me you're a subscriber. Do you know I can be... I He's be not! He is, I'm, I've outed him. I'm a, he, I'm a Catholic, well, you, you keep outing me lately. I, I'm a Catholic, I can't lie, I'm crap at lying. Uh, but I, I subscribed this afternoon, because you've reached a milestone, haven't you? He knows exactly, he knows exactly what to say. 22,000, Bill, and you're not one of them. Well, it could be 22,001 this afternoon, my darling. This is the wonderful voice of Bill, who obviously delivers the travel um, most afternoons, but you've got loads of strings to your bow. Well, I, well, I've been presenting Make a Difference on your popular show on Thursday afternoon at quarter past three. And can I just say you are making a difference? <laughs> Well, in my own little way, but yes. No, 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 I won't have that. Look who's just popped out. Amy. Do you want a coffee, Joe? Uh, no, thank you. I've got um, a chicken sandwich. I know. Are we, um, we're not late, are we? Hello. This is Amy, the producer. You can't recognise her because she's got a mask on. I'll see you up there. See you in a sec. Wonderful, Amy. Um, so, yeah, this place. There's hardly anyone around, which is extraordinary. Usually it's really, really busy. We're in Regent's Park. It's, what is it? It's about nine o'clock. This bit of the park, this is a secret, they keep open because of the tennis courts. And I always bring Matilda here when it's really, really hot because it's a chance for her to cool down. If she just gets in, oh, coming out, um, it really does cool her paws. So um, I'm gonna take my shoes off and have a paddle as well. So that's where I'm going to end the vlog this week in Regent's Park, listening to rackets and tennis balls. I'm so pleased. I've just turned this round. I'm just so pleased that the tennis has started again. Whoops, there we go. Um, there was truly a time when I thought these tennis courts would never be occupied because they for months they were just quiet and all of us dog walkers would come here but now everyone's back in the park. I love this park every season. Regent's Park is my garden basically. And now I have the stroller for Matilda. It means I can come out at any time. She used to just, she hates crossing uh, the Marylebone Road um, because it's so busy and she gets lazy and the pavements are very, very hot this time of year. But now with her stroller, she's quite happy to come out for an evening walk. 
so um, a shorter vlog. It's been a busy week, just a normal week in the city, um, in the summer. I never want this summer to end. So Bill Sheldrake subscribed after I filmed him on the BBC Piazza. So I'm slowly getting there. Thanks to all of you. Thanks for all your comments. I love the way you start to comment on each other's comments. It's a community. That's what I like. So wherever you are, have a great Sunday because it's going to be very hot today. And I will see you Wednesday for the midweek vlog. Have a great week. Bye. I'm walking. Yeah, the knee and I'm talking.